Hi, I am Nikki Clements, and I used to make stuff like this. In an older video, in the end card even, I think, I showed this tripod and the repair that I had done to it. The latch for the leg had broken off and to fix it, I just put on a pipe clamp with a 3D printed knob and you just extend the leg to where you need it, tighten down on the pipe clamp, and it's as good as new. And this is actually a really good, simple fix. And you don't even need the 3D printed knob. You can just use a screwdriver. And I would definitely recommend just keeping a couple pipe clamps in your bag if you do a lot of on-location shoots. If you pull out your tripod, discover that it's broke, you can just throw on a pipe clamp and you're good to go. But as far as a long-term solution, it's not exactly ideal. And that's due to pretty much one thing. If the leg is fully extended, it's perfect, no problem at all. But if it's only half extended, well, anytime you pick it up, it's gonna slide out, which again, isn't that big a deal. But when you're moving it or storing it, it, that gets annoying real quick. Always having, all, always having that leg sliding out, it's not great. So today I wanna to come up with a more permanent solution to this problem. Now to fix it in a way that it works as it normally does, as if it never broke in the first place, I don't really think that's possible, at least not on this tripod. The way these clamps work is there's a small little piece of plastic and that actually sits and rubs up against this inner leg. And then this latch is basically a cam. When you push down, it puts pressure on that little piece of plastic, which puts pressure on the leg, locking it in place. It's a pretty simple and really good mechanism, except where it broke, the hinges completely broke. And that's a pretty hard thing to fix because again, it's a cam, so it's putting a lot of pressure on those two points. So anything we try and do to fix it would have to stand up to that pressure. And maybe we could mold something with some epoxy clay, but again, we're dealing with plastic and getting anything to stick to plastic is a pretty tall order. Now with this tripod, it might be possible to fix it as good as new, as it wasn't the latch or the hinge that broke, but actually the little piece of plastic. It apparently just cracked into a bunch of little pieces and actually, apparently ended up inside the leg of the tripod, which is great, but again, to fix this, we'd first have to manufacture this little piece of plastic, which we could probably 3D print or even just sculpt out of some epoxy clay or something, but then we'd have to get it in there. And to do that, we'd have to remove the pin for this hinge, and that's pretty much just melted in there as far as I can tell. So that'd be a pretty tall order, and then we'd have to get it all put back together. I. I don't think it's worth it. So I think I'm just gonna try and do my fix for both of these tripods. And that's pretty much just gonna be a thumb screw that we just attach to this old latch. So I just removed the legs from both of these broken tripods. Well, it's not there. So is it here? Yeah, there we go. So there's some of that latch piece that apparently broke off and found its way inside. Uh, we're not gonna need any of that. So the first thing I wanna do is actually glue these latches permanently closed. My idea is to use a threaded insert and having the extra plastic from this latch for the insert to insert into will just work better than just going into the thinner wall of the plastic underneath the latch or on the side. And to glue them shut, I'm just gonna try and use some quick setting JB Weld epoxy. And as I've said in the past, it's always hit or miss whenever you're gluing plastics. It's quite difficult to find the right glue for the right plastic and just to get stuff to stick to plastic in general. It's very resistant of glues, but I think this should work okay. Plus I'm going to try and melt the threaded inserts into place, which would also hopefully meld it all together a little bit, but uh, we'll just give it a try and see how it goes.
you want to rough up your surfaces that you're going to be gluing and this just provides more surface area for the glue to hopefully grip onto. And this would have been wise to do before mixing the quick setting epoxy, but I think we'll be okay. Well, maybe I can get both. All right, well, that's all cured and feels on there pretty well, so we just continue on. So now I need to get this threaded insert into here. So I'm going to start with a pilot hole and then work my way up to a hole that's slightly smaller than the insert. And then I'm going to try heating it up and melting it into place. So there are these little pieces of plastic that attach to the legs and these actually prevent the leg from coming all the way out. The way that I've attached all this, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make use of them because I pretty much epoxied this in place. I actually can't get it off, which is good. That means the epoxy's uh, holding quite well. So I'm not too worried if it doesn't work, but if it is a feature you'd like to maintain, probably just make sure to detach this before you do the epoxying, you know, just be sure to make note of it. I'll let your dogs out. Yeah, so that'll just be a feature. I don't have the leg can come all the way out if, but it's not really that big of a deal. Especially since it is now uh, in there with quite a bit of friction, which actually makes me think Maybe I could have just kept my pipe clamp idea and then just added a bit of friction to prevent the leg from falling out. That'd probably be a lot easier than all this. Uh, I still think I'm gonna like this solution, but um, adding some sort of shim or even just kind of adding some glue just so that it no longer can slide would actually solve the whole problem and then this would work just fine. And this is a super easy solution, so. Yeah, but I mean, let's see. I do like that. Well, that worked exactly as I envisioned. That, that's perfect. I'm really pleased with that. Now I've used a 3D printed knob that I made myself with just a bolt and a 3D print, but you can just as easily buy a thumb screw like this that would work just as well. Or even just the normal bolt and a nut driver or a wrench or anything else. But overall, that's a pretty decent fix. Though probably a bit overcomplicated. I don't know how crucial melting it in there was, but it did prevent the plastic from cracking and it definitely secured it in there quite well, as far as I can tell. I can put a lot of pressure on this and it doesn't seem to be budging and it's definitely holding the leg really well. Now, before I do my second one, which will just be done the exact same way, I did want to do a quick little experiment. So I have my annoying leg replicated here on this other good leg. This is just some packaging plastic, just the clear cover to something just cut myself a small shim. I'm just gonna see about jamming it in there a bit. And now, the leg just stays. Now, of course, if you put pressure on it, it's gonna move, but that's what our pipe clamp is for. and it doesn't fall out because there's friction in there now. So that's, that's perfect. That would have worked. I could have avoided doing all of this. 
Uh, that's cheap, easy, and you don't even need the 3D print on here. You can just use the screwdriver and the pipe clamp as is, but the 3D print does make it more accessible. But uh, just a tiny piece of free plastic from anything you might have lying around, wedged in there, provides friction, prevents it from falling out when you don't want it to. I don't know, I, I mean, I'm pretty pleased with this. This looks nice. Uh, it's, it's definitely convenient, but uh, I mean, that looks fine too. Uh, those are two really good options. One if you wanna do more work and one that's just super easy. Honestly, the only major difference is this one you can close three quarters of an inch more than this one because of the width of the pipe clamp. That's basically it. And then, of course, all the work it took to do this. But uh, either way, why don't I do this one and then uh, we'll get out of here. And also, you see what I mean about glue sticking to plastic? This JB Weld is actually peeling off the outside, which is fine. Um, I think it's overall, it's glued, but uh, just the thin layers on the outside, especially where I didn't sand, it just peels right off. So uh, plastic and glues. Now this one actually didn't get stuck like it did in this one. It just screwed right back out. It did leave some very nice threads. So it, it melted threads into the plastic, which is really good. But uh, I'm just gonna super glue it in place. And then if it ever comes loose, then maybe I'll just JB weld it back in. But that should be fine. Well, I am very pleased with that repair. It works perfectly, it looks all right, definitely doesn't look out of place, and it definitely solved my main issue. And through the nature of fixing it, it actually negated that issue. Now it doesn't slide out at all, which maybe the fact that that takes effort is gonna be annoying to me. And maybe I'll try and like sand the inside so it goes in a bit smoother, but uh, I, I don't think so. I think having to pull on it is no big deal. I think this is much more annoying. But there you go, actually two great solutions to fix a broken leg on a tripod. Whether you wanna get a 50 cent pipe clamp and a tiny piece of plastic or JB Weld epoxy, a drill, a drill bit, a bolt, some fire, half an hour. I mean, choice is yours, but actually I, I'm, I'm totally fine with this. Yeah, the fact that I can just wedge some plastic in there and basically negate the issue that was causing me to revisit this fix in the first place is uh, it's funny. But my sincere thank you for watching. Once again, I am Nick D. Clements. If you're wondering, Nick is short for Nicholas and the D stands for drill. Anyway, I'm off to make something else. I recently made this tripod shelf and I really like it. It works great for storing all these tripods. It takes up almost no space. Again, using all this wasted ceiling space. And I used my threaded rod shelf technique that I used in the laundry room shelf. I do think I need one more support here. The plywood I used is pretty thin and it's sagging a bit. Unfortunately, I don't really know where to get more of these flanges. Uh, I think this just came in like some extension tripod rod thing. It actually came with one of those drop ceiling shelf brackets, but I, I, I don't know where to just get these on their own. I might just have to buy a bunch of the kits to get them. Again, it's a problem with the flange. So if anyone knows what these are even called or where I could buy a bunch, uh, let me know. But yeah, other than that, it's a great shelf, great way to store all your tripods.